What up, guys? Boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando, Florida, for Thursday, December 21st, 2017, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio radio just go to iheart.com or your iheart phone app search for the entertainment report and it'll take you to the page Andy Serkis' upcoming Jungle Book Origins film has officially changed its style to Magali, the name of the story's main character. Magali is set to be released in theaters on October 19, 2018, and will be the directorial debut of Serkis. The film, which will feature live action and motion caption performances, was originally slated to release in 2016 near the Disney's John Favreau-directed Jungle Book adaptation. Serkis will also be starring in the film alongside Christian Bale, Kate Blanchett, Benedict Cumberbatch, Naomi Harris, Matthew Reyes, Frida Pinto, Peter Mullen, Jack Rayner, Eddie Marsan, Tom Hollander, and Rohan Chan as Magali. Cumberbatch was cast as the villain Shiri Khan back in 2014. Magali will offer a darker tale on the Ruder Kipling's original collection of stories in comparison to Favreau's film and Disney's 1967 animated adaptation, Noah the Hollywood Reporter. Disney teases magic and mystery in the first trailer for The Nutcracker and the Four Realms, its live-action adaptation of The Nutcracker. The company released a preview featuring Mackenzie Foy and Kieran Knightley that explores a dark side of the story. Foy stars as Clara, a girl who visits a mysterious parallel world with Knightley as the Sugar Plum Fairy. The Nutcracker and the Four Realms is based on the E.T.A. Hoffman story, The Nutcracker and the Mouse King, which was written in 1816. Uh, Tchaikovsky previously adapted the story as the ballet The Nutcracker. Swedish director Lars Hallström helmed the film, which opens November 2, 2018. Helen Mirren co-stars as Mother Ginger, with Morgan Freeman co-stars as Drossler Mayer, Misty Copeland as the ballerina, and Eugenio Dibberets as the Far Realm King. Foy is known for such films as The Conjuring, Wish You Well, and Interstellar. The 17-year-old actress promoted The Nutcracker and the Four Realms in an Instagram post Tuesday, teasing The Legend You Know Has a Dark Side. Paramount has set a number of release dates for a collection of upcoming tentpole films, including another entry in its G.I. Joe series and an adaptation of Dungeons & Dragons. The film simply titled G.I. Joe is set to hit theaters on March 27, 2020. The title is noticeably missing the number three, potentially hinting at the project being a reboot for the Hasbro series. Paramount previously released G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra in 2009 in a sequel, G.I. Joe Retaliation in 2013 that starred Dwayne Johnson as Hero Roadblock. G.I. Joe series star Byung Hyun Lee, who portrays villainous um, Ninja Storm Shadow previously said in September 2016 that Paramount has yet to enter into production on the third film due to Johnson's busy schedule. They said at the time, I've heard from the studios that there is a possibility to do the third one, but I think they're waiting for the actors' schedules. They're arranging the schedules for the actors, especially Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne, Dungeons and Dragons, based on the tap top role playing game, will arrive in theaters on July 23rd, 2021. The property was first adapted into a film starring Jeremy Irons in two at New Line Cinema. Paramount also announced dates for a film based on Hasbro's Micronauts toy line that will arrive on October 16, 2020, and an untitled Hasbro film set for October 1, 2021. The studio was previously developed a Hasbro Cinematic Universe in 2015 that would have included G.I. Joe, Micronauts, and a film based on Visionaries, Mask, Mobile Arm Strike Command, and Rome. Reality star Khloe Kardashian on Wednesday confirmed she is pregnant with her first child with boyfriend NBA player Tristan Thompson, news that have been rumored for months. She broke the news in a black and white Instagram photograph of her bare stomach cradled by Thompson. A lengthy caption accompanied the photo saying it was Khloe Kardashian's greatest dream realized. She wrote, we're having a baby. I have been waiting and wondering, but God has a plan all along. Khloe Kardashian thanked Thompson for making me a mommy. Her post raids, I still at times can't believe that our love created life. Tristan, thank you for loving me the way that you do. Thank you for treating me like a queen. Thank you for making me feel beautiful at all stages. Though the baby will be Khloe Kardashian, 
Kardashians first, Thompson already has a one-year-old son with ex-girlfriend Jordan Craig. In August, Khloe Kardashian told You Magazine she and Thompson were waiting to have children. She said Tristan is a great dad and he definitely wants more children, but we both feel that it will happen when the time is right. The KBR with Kardashian star said, We're still in a new relationship and I love us having time together. Once you have kids, you can't get back your non-kid years. You worry about your kids for the rest of your life. Khloe Kardashian Thompson, who plays for the Cleveland Cavaliers, were first linked in October 2016 following their respective splits from James Harden and Craig. So as first reported, Khloe Kardashian was pregnant in September, but the couple have waited to officially confirm the news. She says, I know we've been keeping this quiet, but we want to enjoy this between our family and close friends as long as we could privately. Still, it has not been a very closely guarded secret. In October, Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Jenner joked about having so many babies in the Kylie Cosmetics video promo. A week before Khloe Kardashian's pregnancy rumors first surfaced, reports indicated Jenner was expecting her first child with rapper Travis Scott. She has yet to confirm the news. And last month, big sister Kim Kardashian, who's also expecting a baby via surrogate, coyly smiled when James Corden asked her point blank if her sisters were pregnant. Instead of answering the question, she opted to drink a sardine smoothie in a game on the late night show uh, called Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts. Black China's children take center stage on her Christmas card this year. The 29-year-old television personality shared cute photos of daughter Dream Kardashian and son King Cairo in a series of Snapchat posts Tuesday. The pictures show 13-month-old Dream and 5-year-old King wearing matching Santa hats and festive winter outfits. The official holiday card shows Dream sitting in the chimney while gazing up at her half-brother. Car reads, Dear Santa, let me explain. Black China shares dream with ex fiancee Rob Kardashian and King with ex fiancee Tigger. She said in an interview with People this month that she will be spending Christmas at home with her children. The star said, We'll be spending it together at my house. King is really excited about Santa decorating the Christmas tree and his gifts. So it's really exciting to get the house holiday ready and dream is fascinated with santa and loves all of the lights she's getting into it all she added dream has started walking and running it's so much fun chasing her around and she's starting to say words so it's really fun seeing her personality come out dream also appeared alongside her cousin mason disick in a glimpse of the kardashian family christmas card the full card is expected to confirm that kylie jenner is pregnant and expecting her first child with travis scott Tyler Bartaria says he isn't dwelling on Farrah Abraham's claims that he's gay. The 25-year-old television personality spoke out Monday on Twitter after Abraham slammed him and their team mom OG co-stars following this week's episode. He wrote, In order for her to really insult me, I would first need to value her opinion, and the line does not dwell on the opinions of she. Abraham had said in a tweet Monday that Bartaria won't admit that he's gay. She also commented about Bateria's wife, Caitlin Lowell, and co-stars Amber Portwood and Macy Bookout. Uh, the 26-year-old television personality work, wrote, I'm just happy Amber stays in bed. Macy sits on a couch. Caitlin smokes weed in her car. Taylor's gay. Still doesn't admit it. She said of herself, I travel the world and know how to run business. Hashtag Team Mom. At MTV, all I can say is hashtag wow. Bateria and... Lowell, who shared two-year-old daughter Nova Lee, married in August 2015. Balteria praised Lowell in an early tweet Monday following reports the 25-year-old star is seeking treatment for suicidal thoughts. He gushed, my wife is incredibly strong and courageous. She inspires me to just be a better human being all around, and I'm honored to share my life with such a selfless soul. I love her so much and can't wait for her to be home. Hashtag Caitlin Strong. Lowell and Abraham came to fame on MTV 16 and Pregnant before starring on Team Mom. Abraham, who often clashes with Lowell and her co-stars, claimed in October that she was fake-fired from the show. Kristen Bell celebrated our Delta's third birthday by revisiting her 36 hours of labor. The 37-year-old actress posted a slideshow of never-before-seen photos of herself at the hospital prior to her younger daughter's birth. Bell shares Delta and four-year-old daughter Lincoln with her husband, actor Dex Shepard. The pose includes a, a picture of a pregnant Bell showing off her baby bump while sitting on an exercise ball. The slideshow also features two snapshots of Bell in labor at the hospital and a photo of her holding baby Delta. The star captioned the slideshow, Three years ago today, 47 pounds heavier, getting through painful contractions with back rubs and breathing, occasionally swinging from the IV pole to try and feel sexy and open up my hips. She says, after 36 of hours of labor, I met a girl I love more than all the molecules in the world. Happy birthday. 
Dorothy Delta, Love Mom, hashtag Mesh Panties. Bell and Chapper married in October 2013 after welcoming Lincoln that March. The actress said in a November issue of Shape that her health and being active with her daughters are the most are among her top priorities. She shared, it's important to sh- uh, for me to show my children that I care about my health and fitness enough to stay committed. So when I'm in the room with them, I, I'll do some squats. When they ask what I'm doing, I'll say I'm getting my physical fitness in. She says, it's a value I want to instill in my kids at an early age that paying attention to your body is mandatory. Whether it's putting my sunscreen on or doing push-ups, it's not just me taking care of myself, but also me to help shaping my daughters. Kat Sadler says a massive disparity in pay led her to leave E! News. The 43-year-old television personality said in a blog post Tuesday that she quit the network after learning her co-host, Jason Kennedy, was earning close to double her salary. Sadler wrote, I first I know firsthand that dreams do come true. For the past 12 years, I've been living mine out loud as one of the hosts of E! News television. It has been unpredictable, intoxicating, rewarding, hard work. Then, she says... Then this year happened. Daily Pop was born. I was named host, which meant double duty. Coincidentally, around the same time, an executive from E brought something alarming to my attention, namely that there was a massive disparity in pay between my similarly situated male co-host and myself. She alleged, most recently, the e, when E reached out to renew and extend my deal, I learned that he w- wasn't just making a little more than I was. In fact, he was making close to double my salary from, for the past several years. Saller says she asked for and repeatedly denied the salary increase she wanted, leaving her unwilling to remain at E. She said in an interview with People that it was heartbreaking to not receive the pay bump. The star says, It's almost insulting because you know you work really hard. I'm a single mom of two kids. I've given my all to this network. And when you learn something like the pay disparity, it makes you feel very small and underappreciated and undervalued. He responded by saying it compensates employees fairly and appropriately based on their roles, regardless of gender. Network says it appreciates Sadler's many contributions and wish her all the best in the future. Gigi Hadid were all smiles while attending a hockey game Tuesday in New York. The 22-year-old model cheered on the New York Rangers alongside sister Bella, boyfriend Zay Malik's moms, Trisha Malik, and other family and friends. Gigi and Bella were wearing coordinating Ranger jerseys with Bella also in the team hat. The pair were joined by their brother, 18-year-old model Amwar Hadid, and friend Mikhail Coney, as seen in photos in Bella's Instagram. The 21-year-old model captioned day ones, uh, a photo of herself with Gigi and McCall. Gigi gushed about Zayn in the post the day prior, although the 24-year-old singer did not attend the game. She shared a picture on Instagram stories of herself and Zayn making their red carpet debut as a couple at the 2016 Met Gala. The model wrote, just saw this on Twitter land. Oh, he's so freaking gorgeous, I could just melt every day. Gigi and Zayn were first linked in November 2015. The couple who both grew up in the Islamic faith celebrated Eid al hadha with Trisha and Gigi's mom, Yolanda Hadid, in September. Heather North, the actress best known for voicing Scooby-Doo character Daphne, has died at the age of 71. North died November 30th at her home in Studio City, Los Angeles. After dealing, after dealing with the long illness, family friend Jody Mann set the deadline. North first began voicing Daphne Bank in September 1970 on the second season opener of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? She continued voicing the red-headed second female member of the main cast through 2003. North also appeared on other television shows, such as Mr. Novak, Gidget, The Fugitive, The Monkeys, My Three Sons, and Adam 12. She was 71. A strange couple, Lala Anthony and Carmelo Anthony, will celebrate Christmas as a family. The 30-year-old television personality said in an interview with E! News that she will spend the holidays with the 33-year-old NBA star and their 10-year-old son, Kyan. Uh, Lala shared Tuesday, well, Carmelo and I have a son together, so our holidays will be with our son, which is the most important part of both of our lives. We want to keep it normal and regular for him, and my son should have both of his parents on the holidays, so yes, we'll be together. She explained, you frame it around the child. The child is what's important. My son being happy is what's important, so we have to put all of our stuff to one side and focus on Kyan, and that's what we'll do. The star added, we will we get along great. We're going to have a great Christmas, and I'm actually looking forward to it. Lala had shared a video of herself and Kaya in front of their Christmas tree while promoting her, par- sh- uh, her partnership with Axe on Monday. She wrote, my baby 
boy Cayenne is all grown up now and these holiday gift packs are the perfect way to make sure he smells and looks fresh all day. Lala and Carmelo separated in April after nearly seven years of marriage. The television personality told Page Six this month that she's focused on Cayenne and not her rumor reconciliation with Carmelo. She said, I'm trying to be a great parent to my son and that's where I'm putting our focus on right now before responding no comment when asked if she's being pursued by other men. Several K-pop stars are postponing activities in the wake of South Korean singer Young Hon's death. Boy band X, uh, EXO, Girl Group Twice, and other acts delayed album and music video releases following the Shin Hee singer's apparent suicide Monday at the age of 27. EXO, which is signed to the same label as Shin Hee, will postpone the release of its special winter album universe. SM Entertainment announced news on the band's official website according to All K-Pop. The company said in the album, EXO's 2017 Winter Special Album Universe release date has been changed to December 25th, which was initially slated to debut on Thursday. We ask for your understanding. Thank you. The Korea Hero reported twice will delay the release of its Merry and Happy music video for Thursday, the day of Jung Hyun's burial, to Friday. Boy band BTOB canceled a news conference for its 2017 BTOB Time Our Concert schedule for Saturday. Jung Hung, born Kim Jong Hun, died Monday after being discovered unconscious in an apartment in Seoul. The singer discussed his battle with depression and suicide note his friend Wolf shared Monday on Instagram. And finally, here are the top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 singles charts for the week of December 29th. Number 10, G Easy featuring Aesop Rock and Cardi B with No Limit. Number 9, Mariah Carey with All I Want Is Christmas Is You. Number 8, Halsley with Bad at Love. Number 7, Sam Smith with Too Good at Goodbyes. Number 6, The Meagles, Na- Mickey Minaj and Cardi B with Motorsport. Number 5, Imagine Dragons with Thunder. Number 4, Little Pump with Gucci Gang. Number 3, Camila Cabello featuring Young Thug with Havana. Number 2, Post Malone featuring 21 Savage with Rockstar. And the number 1 song on the Billboard Hot 100 singles charts for the week of December 29th, Ed Sheeran debut with Beyonce with Perfect. And as your entertainment report for Thursday, December 21st, 2017, I'm your host, Mr. Dan Tamray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the answer report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.